In this demonstration, we will see how we can model this logo using the shape editor and the sculpting tools. Now this logo has come from a bitmap image, so it's very quick for us to model within ArtCam Pro. If I switch across to my 2D view, you can see that it consists of a blue, a black and a white as my colours. And I've created this using two layers. Now I'm going to delete this layer because we're going to be modeling it from scratch. And the gecko will be the first thing we'll be modeling. So it's very, very basic. We're just going to reset this and turn our plane back on. Using the blue, we're going to just double click on this. But first, we're going to color the eye in. So we're going to select that blue color and then using the paintbrush, just fill the eye in itself and then click on the blue and assign a height to it. So we're going to do the shape editor and we're just going to add a height to this. Here we can see the base six of our actual gecko. We're going to start to smooth over this and add some shape and push some different areas out using the sculpting tool. So if we open the sculpting tool, which is this icon down here, and firstly use the smooth tool. We're going to make sure that we're only sculpting on this blue color. So we're just going to smooth him out slightly. We'll zoom in. Smooth around his feet. Just to get some of those wrinkles out which were created with the shape editor. And then we're going to start to smudge some material. So we're going to start to push his stomach down slightly. So using this smudge tool, just like having your finger and then just slightly pushing it in certain directions just to build up different areas. So just push the strength up a little bit more. We'll push some of his stomach down. You can see it's raising that area there. Again, raising the leg up slightly higher here. Do the same towards the tail. Start to raise the tail slightly. Come back a bit towards the front leg and the head. Just raise all this up a little bit. Just to add a little bit of definition and some shape to the lizard itself, to the gecko. And then we're going to add some material to him. So we're going to select a smaller brush, making sure we're going to only use the undercolor. We're going to add a bit of material, come roughly over where his eye would be. Just add a little bit of shape to the gecko itself, follow his stomach round across to his tail. And then again, repeating this around his eye. And straight back towards his tail. So it's added some material. And we're going to smooth this out. So we're going to use the smooth brush, probably drop our strength down slightly. Make sure we're on normal. And just go over all of this area. Start to add some shape to the gecko. Probably a little bit more around his eye. Maybe some of that area we raised up previously. And now we'll come in and work slightly on his eye area. So we'll zoom into here. Use a different tool, which is the carve tool. 
just our diameter right down and our strength we'll just carve a little area out which will be the gecko's eye it's this here back to the smooth tool drop our diameter right down and then zoom out slightly and we'll just do a nice big smooth over everything over the gecko's body. Now the next thing we're going to do to this is we can sculpt this as much as we want or we could add a texture over the top of the gecko. So we're now going to open the texture tool and we're going to use the selected color. You have the opportunity to use a whole layer, selected vector or the selected color. We're going to use a sphere and make it very, very small, very small size. We're just going to add this across the whole of the color itself, just to add slight bumps to this, to the gecko. And then we're just going to run a smoothing pass over the top of our selected color, just a one single pass. Smooth them out slightly. Now we have our finished gecko created quite quickly. Now this is on one layer, so we're going to label this gecko. We're going to create a new layer and we're going to label this the logo border. I'm going to switch back on our color shade view. So here we can see what our gecko looks like in the 3D. Very basic, but still looks quite effective. We're going to double click on our black area. We're going to give it a start height. We're going to make sure it goes up straight and then curves off towards the top. We're just going to add this into place. We're going to quickly create our finish sign just using very basic bitmap colors, not using any vector creation at all, and just the shape editor and freely sculpting however we choose. So we can see everything has been nicely raised. Here's our finished design with our gecko with a texture over it, which we could carry on sculpting. And we have our finished logo that all we need to do is just to add a border around. So we're going to use the magic wand tool, which has created a vector for us, which is here. Using the shape editor, we're just going to add a small height of 0 0.5 and add this into place. And this will raise our logo up so it's on an actual backing we have our three colors there and our finished design of our gecko now hopefully you've seen from this demonstration how you can work very quickly with a bitmap image to create a 3d relief file just using the double click of the shape editor and some very basic sculpting